up on the floor, and he's not a good free throw shooter, so he's sitting down. He brought belt on him. Uh oh, wait a minute. Well, Jordan Vance, they need the foul. That's just all that's there. And there's the foul given up by Jeff Chan. That's the method of what Baroque is all about. And he missed it first. And now Blakey comes back in. The sucks of the coach did go. Blakey out. His players who are not good foul shooters. But if you're in or shine, you want to box out. The, you know, if that misses, you don't want Sandvik getting the ball. For Sandvik, you have Pinkness and Blakey there trying to rebound. Missed again! Missed again! And then there's a the ball getting out. Got the ball! And Raider Shine, if he can believe this, would have another opportunity. And they call the timeout. Why don't I care what we said right here? Can you imagine the catch? Uh, so this big throw is my seemed like he pulled, let's see, huh? Reed, but Blake Lager with the effort. Again, almost a tip in, guys, to put that ball in. And then there's Arizona Reed. But I need requests for a timeout. Which Reed and Shine has been granted. After the win, he sprinted 
to look for Coach Yang Yao and offer his congratulations because nothing to be ashamed of here by Rainer Shai. Injury by Reed and all, fighting back and giving them an opportunity. Oh wow. Well, they have their chances. They certainly have their chances. And if you go back to game one of this series, that controversial no call that ended game one, that could have gone into overtime. And then, of course, game two, that went to overtime. So many dramatic incidents during this entire finals. But in the end, Sandy Coffee, what a way to win, not just this conference. Sandy exactly. Coffee winning. The coveted Grand Slam. Well, the winner, the fans. I mean, it came down to a last possession, but here you'll see Barok and Denai Reed. Chan, Chan was open at the weak side, and then Blakely coming in. And so close yet so far for Rainer Shine. But again, you know, this team is special. Sunday is special. There are only a number of teams that have won a Grand Slam, and the manner in which they did it, and the opposition that they had to go through, and. and you know, watching this team grow and develop under Coach Tim, getting a good coaching staff, getting the tools, and after winning one, just not settling, he had to retool. He traded some guys, he was able to get Sangala, he was able to get Maliksi, Guzel, Badiari, Melton, and everybody played the role, and now they become a part of a special group that has won from Coach Tomi Manoto to Coach Norman Black, okay. and now Coach Tim with two grand slams. Sure, maybe the new one. Starting it all with Prisca, then coming in all of the other Prisca team. And then Norman Black, Tim Cone, and Tim Cone, the only coach in PBA history to capture two Grand Slams with two different teams. Okay, we're going to talk to Tim Cone in just a bit. And as you need to mention, the only coach to win two Grand Slams with two different teams. Which I tell you, I, I think Luigi can say this, if you're a coach in this league, that is just phenomenal. Then you